Hi everyone, Grey Power 60 here. Welcome to another Wiggly Tea With Me Tuesday. Mm. Good cup of tea. Oh, so what have I been up to this week? Well, um, I put away a, a lot of things that I had. I rearranged a few things. Um, I went through um, a cupboard that I had in my room um, that I was going to get rid of, but I changed my mind because I need the storage space. I threw out stuff I had. Oh, my God. And, you know, I know I have more to go through. And it just seems that I am procrastinating. I am just so procrastinating. Um I have so much stuff that um, I've lost interest in doing anything, which is so stupid because the purpose of getting things is to do things. However, the good news is that I accepted uh, Dawn, Thelma, and I'm sorry I've forgotten the other girl's name, um, C'est la Dawn had posted a video on this Use Your Stash Challenge, co-hosted by the three of them. Um, and I was so psyched for it that I did it all. I did three items all in one afternoon. I've got the video all done. I've got it scheduled to go up on the 25th, which is the, the date that it's due. Um, so it's all done, all, you know, and then I sat there with um, all of my things that I have, and I'm, I'm just not, I'm not into, I guess it's Valentine's that I really have trouble kind of getting, I mean, you know, people say, well, you know, you are getting into it, you're doing things. Yeah, but it's, my heart isn't in it. I mean, the challenge was fun, I loved that, but... Um, I'm kind of at a, 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 um, a burnout place, I guess. I don't even know what it is. I think until I can declutter and get rid of my stuff, I don't feel comfortable doing crafts. I mean, I cleaned out the space behind me here. I cleaned that all out totally, but you know, um, I don't know. I don't know what it is. I don't know. I don't know what it is. So I started doing some soul searching. I got to take off these. Someone had asked me, why do I have two pair of glasses? I can't wear bifocals because I get dizzy. That the, the change in the, I mean, I have my reading glasses that I wear. I'm great for sitting here and reading it and I'm okay to talk to you guys, but I can't get up and walk around with them because I get, I get, nauseous I get dizzy uh, because I can't focus I can't focus anywhere unless I take these off and then it's annoying down here because you know anyway I hope that answered one of your questions that you had questioned why have I got two pair of glasses one is for regular and one is and I think I answered it last week oh my god forgive me for that anyway I started writing some stuff down um, to try and motivate me. Um, you know, it's funny when I had my own apartment and I was by myself and I had no worries but myself, you know, I enjoyed going from room to room. And I think if you look way back on my very bad videos, way in the beginnings, when I was doing a lot of organizational and decluttering and reorganizing, um, and I think I did the uh, Peter Walsh a um, couple of years ago, 30-day um, um, getting organized challenge. Um, I, I was very successful with it. I loved it. I was doing great. I enjoyed doing that. It was a daily vlog. Um, and, you know, I... And the house was clean, but then I was also cleaning houses, so it's kind of silly to clean houses and not keep your own house clean. But um, 
I was talking, uh, Mom and I both had a doctor's appointment today. Um, I have a prescription for her to get some. Um, she said she doesn't see any um, infection, but Mom has a bit of leakage in her ear. Like her eardrum, her one ear, she's deaf. The other ear is like Swiss cheese. It's got like so many holes in it. It's unrepairable, impossible to fix. And she has to live with, you know, the hearing aid and, 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 and it gets clogged up easily and she gets, she has trouble. She can't hear. So we went and bought a new box of batteries because I had noticed that she was running low and she's keeping the old ones. So I've got to chuck those. Um, Anyway, um, so, y you know, living with somebody else, it's harder to motivate yourself or to do all the things that you did when you were alone because you could spend days living alone and not do a darn thing. And then suddenly, 2 o'clock in the morning, you're motivated and suddenly the whole house is clean from top to bottom. Well, when there's only you... But when there's two of you um, or more, it's it's not quite the same. Now, I'm fortunate. Mom can't hear. So when she takes her hearing aid out, I can work around the house and it doesn't disturb her. So I'm very fortunate that way. So no excuses for making noise. I can make noise. But um, a couple of things I wrote down here. And one of the things I said, you know, to myself, be grateful for what you've got. You have got so much. Be grateful for it. You know, pat yourself on the back and say, you know, you, you, you have good intentions. You did some good work and, you know, be grateful. The other thing was not to be such a perfectionist. Oh, my God. You want everything to be just perfect. And it's sometimes hard to to throw that out the window and say, okay, well, I'm just going to do this for now. Like, this is okay. Um, but it plays on you, you know, us perfectionist people. We It plays on us. So I really got to stop, stop that, you know, being perfect. Um, trying, to, you know, uh, sitting down, talking about procrastinating. I was sitting down and I have so much stuff. And, um, you know, my daughter-in-law only has so much room. I mean, I can give her some things, but I only she only has so much room to put things. So what am I going to do with all that other stuff? <sighs> I know I could sell it. I could put it online. But you know what? I really don't have the ambition to do that. Um, I was thinking of setting up uh, a box. Um, in the basement, we have uh, our laundry room on one side workout room, all kinds of stuff. On the other side, we've got going out to go outside to the garbage as well as the indoor garbage. And then we've got all our storage rooms. And a lot of people that are getting rid of things will leave it in this sort of little alcove as you come off the elevator. And I thought, maybe I should put some stuff there. Maybe I should, you know, do that. I don't know. Um, I bought things with good intentions, but after... Um, the last craft fair with such poor uh, a turnout and, and poor, um, um, I don't know what they were looking for. You know, today they seem to be looking for the expensive technology things, little techie things. And, <coughs> excuse me. I don't know. I got, I, I think I, I think it really discouraged me. Not that I didn't sell stuff, um, because people did come by and they did love my table. And yeah, they weren't buying because it may be not what they were looking for. So maybe it wasn't, you know, the place for me, whatever. Um, but I thought all that work, what am I going to do with all of these things that are filled with candy? Well, I've given a lot away. I have, I have given quite a bit away, but you know, now I still have more and, um, and it's hard to pack it away for next year when I have no place to put it, you know, and that's the other problem that I have. Oh, <sighs> like, 
Anyway, so um, I got to stop making excuses. I really have to stop making excuses and just, you know, get on with it. Um, the other night, I, I, I rearranged my bed again. Um, for some reason, the floor, I'm in the corner of my building. I'm the very last apartment and the wind blows from that area. And it's never really been well insulated in that corner. But, um, and the floor is very, very cold, which is fine for me. I, I don't mind the cold, but because I like sleeping in the cold. Um, so I moved my bed uh, to the far wall and it's sort of covered over that coldness. So even when the cold air comes up, um, like I have a day bed and the extra mattress is underneath. So there's sort of insulation there, but I don't mind that cool air. That really doesn't bother me. It, it's actually quite, I've been sleeping quite well because I haven't been sleeping well. Um, I've had crazy dreams. I've had, you know, um, I think um, a lot of things have kind of gotten on my nerves a little bit. And, um, and I'm disappointed in myself for not doing more crafts, for not doing more things. But I've been looking and looking and saying, you know, it's the same old, same old. So how can I make it new? So when I did my challenge for the, the um, use your stash challenge, I looked outside the box and did things that I don't usually, well, I usually do, but you know, you don't see a lot of videos on it or maybe you do. I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm talking about. I'm so tired. I just have not been, I haven't been feeling well for a long time and it feels like it's been a couple of months, not sick, just not feeling good. The energy isn't there. Now that could be stress. That could be all kinds of stuff. I don't know. Um, anyway, uh, so what I need to do is, is, um, get some blood work done. My doctor was saying, you know, my blood pressure's fine and everything, but I put on a little bit of weight since mom and I've been together. The stress, yes. And you know, she told me, you know, you got to pat yourself on the back. You are doing a remarkable job with your mom. I mean, she has been our doctor for many, many years. Oh, at least 20 years, the two of us. Um, and, um, and she knows our family well. She was my uncle's doctor. She was my aunt's doctor, you know, um, and she's younger than I am. So I'm hoping she doesn't retire too soon. Um, she's a bit younger than I am, but, um, when I first started going to her, she was like very new and I didn't have much faith in her at first, but over the years, she's gotten to know me. I've gotten to know her, our family. She's very good at what she does and, um, and she's very encouraging and that really helps. Uh, for some reason to hear it from a doctor makes you feel more better than more so than, you know, if it was just a family friend or family member or whatever. So anyway, and, uh, so the other thing I wrote down here was Try and manage my expectations. Don't, don't, don't overblow things. Don't, don't make things unattainable. You know, um, don't expect to be perfect, you know, and take my time. So as I was saying, I sat on the floor the other day, I emptied my shelves because it just had like a piece of thing here, a piece of thing there. Put everything in containers. They're not in any order. I just put them in the containers, put them on the shelf. I can sort through those later. It's to get everything off the floor. That's the biggie, right? Anytime you're cleaning a room, get everything off the floor. So that's what I'm doing. So um, anyway, I really enjoyed the challenge. I know I'm jumping all over, sorry. Um, I really enjoyed the challenge um, 
And I really kind of expected myself to be more motivated to do more, and I didn't. Uh, but I think it's because when I finished it, I said, okay, that's enough of the Valentine's stuff. Let's go on and do another, you know, like Easter. Um, I'm not too much into St. Patty's Day, but, um, you know, whatever. Um, so let's go into Easter. So I started putting my Valentine's stuff sort of aside to package up in a box and I have to go downstairs and it's, I'm just so lazy to go downstairs. I have some empty boxes that we had when we were, when we moved, um, I bring up one of the boxes, put it all in there and give it to her. You know, that's all I have to do is go downstairs, get a couple of boxes, come upstairs, tape them up, fill them up and get them out of here. That's all I have to do. But there's always something, you know, um, and I'm making excuses. Yes, there's always something. We always make excuses. So, um, uh, I haven't been sleeping well. And the other thing I marked down here was to eliminate distractions. I have my little tablet and in my room before I go to bed at night, I will go through YouTube. Once I've gone through that, I'll maybe go on to Amazon Prime and look at some movies, or maybe I will play a couple of games that I have on my tablet. And then um, I discovered this one game that I really enjoy, and it's, it's, it's putting blocks together. Um, anyway, um, I could spend hours playing that. And you know, if I want to totally get away, get away from stress, get away from everything, I can play that game for hours and hours. You know, the funny thing is, and that reminded me of something, when my father passed away, I re it, it hit me hard. I mean, he was my daddy. He was my rock. And I even to this day remember going in my bedroom and um, they didn't have... Um, um, internet computer games stuff like that or little what do they call them game boys and all that stuff they didn't have that there was a a, a game that my father had it's very old like i remember when i was a young girl that's how old it was and it's still working um it's just a blackjack game and all i did was just play it it was my dad's and i was playing it and i was just just trying to disappear, trying to eliminate the heavy burden, you know. So I tend to do that, you know. I'll find something that is mindless for me and en enjoyable, but mindless. Not excitable, enjoyable, just kind of pleasant and, you know, to pass the time. So I've got to get off my butt. I've got to get that room uh, cleaned. I've got to go through. I have a trunk in my room of, I used to write a lot, a lot. I've got stories half finished. I've got um, journals in there. I've, you call them diaries. They were my daily journals. Um, they were my way of dealing with stress when I got divorced, dealing with teenage children getting into trouble, dealing with horrible work conditions. Everything is written in there and the trunk is full and probably has other things in there I need to shred get rid of the trunk is closed I'm not looking at it I know it's there I gotta get at it so my my thought for the week my, not my thought for the week but my word for the week is or phrase let's say just do it Every time I feel like, oh, I'm going to sit down, just do it. Go do, go do, go do. You got to help me, guys, because I need the help. Hmm. Anyway, my tea's gotten cold, and sorry for the rambling on. I'm sure we all have 
some issues and there's always someone worse off but you know we deal with our own issues and our own pain and our own stress and our own shortcomings and everything else in our own way but sometimes it's nice to just kind of talk about it maybe it'll help motivate me <laughs> i don't know anyway guys this is long enough again 20 minutes oh or more <sighs> i really enjoy um venting when you guys come to visit and uh sometimes it's boring for you guys i understand that and uh i was always hoping it would be more of an informative day where tea with me tuesdays would be more okay let's deal with this and how do we deal with it and do the research and talk to you about it but lately it's been rant 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 but it feels good to talk to friends. It feels good. And I wish you were here with me so we could bounce ideas off each other, encourage each other, you know, uplift each other. <laughs> That's what friends are for. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me today. And uh, hopefully we'll have something a little more interesting next week. Anyway, thanks for joining me. Bye for now.